What's up with you guys? Lucky here again with another Broja review. Today we're going to be talking about uh, really a stalwart vanguard of the Broja world. We're going to be talking about the Sasaisa Broja. I got three major brands I've been trying out here. I got Albert Heijn, I got Dirk van der Broek, and I got Lidl. Now uh, we're missing some heavy hitters of the Broja world. No Jumbo, no Hema. But uh, I live in New West, a neighborhood punctuated by the absence of Jumbo and Hema. So we're going to have to make do with what we got. So... I've been sampling them a little bit. Um, we're going to just take one more bite and then I'll give you my thoughts. I'll give you uh, three uh, categories, taste, texture, and price. And we're going to rate them from there. Cheers. Mm. So we're starting with the Albert Heijn Broja. And really, this is a problem endemic to Albert Heijn. Society Broja, at least is that I don't know if they use kind of a shortening or margarine in their crust, but it just doesn't stand up to the test of time. You know, you buy them at 2 p.m., you want to have them at work 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 p.m., 1 a.m., whatever. You go upstairs, you take them out of your bag, and it's just this unpleasant texture. It's neither crispy nor soft. It's, it's falling apart, uh, kind of stale butter taste, and... Uh, it really just doesn't hold up uh, when you get a fresh one. There's nothing better. It's the standard. But realistically, unless you're going at noon uh, when they bake them for the school children and you're getting it then, you're not going to get a fresh one. So, um, yeah, Albert Heijn. Also, the taste of the meat, very not not a very spicy brogia. Not too much going on there. Not too complex. Um, I personally find it a bit bland, but I appreciate that some people might like that it's a bit more neutral. So, um taste i'll give it a seven you know it's not saying anything it's not being offensive either texture i'm gonna give it i want to give it lower than a seven but realistically like i said when you get a good one it's a good one um price 99 cents that's about the standard so let's give it just a seven around the board seven for albert Heijn. now let's uh let's get with Dirk van der Broek a little bit lower on the hierarchy of dutch supermarket prices but let's see how it goes Mm. Now, that's just a market improvement in every regard. You know, first thing you get is a very powerful kind of beef stock, pork stock, almost gravy-like taste. The meat is much softer, um, almost like a pate or a force meat kind of texture. And uh, the, the dough is very flaky, very soft. It's just as old as the Albert Heijn Podogia, and yet it holds up much better. Very savory. Definitely a bit of a kick. I know some people might not enjoy that. I do. Um, yeah. And another thing to note, uh, you can't see it now, but it is, I'd say, on average, 40% larger, up to 40% larger than the typical Podogia. And the price is 99 cents. It's the same. So, taste... I love the statement it's making. I love how bold it is. I'll give it a nine. Um, texture, also a nine. It holds up. Flaky, light, but still satisfying. And uh, price, yeah, we're going to go with a, a nine. It really, it's a good deal. In today's economy, gives you what you need. Two of these, I'd be satisfied. Nine overall for a Dirk friend of Brodeo. Now let's go with the dark horse of the uh, Brodeo world, Lidl. Let's get it. All right. You might notice me chewing with trepidation, and I'll explain why. I love the taste. It's like an old school lasagna meat kind of taste. Nutmeggy, sweet, very retro, very enjoyable. With a little bit of allspice, I taste a little bit of mace even maybe. It's great. Uh, texture of the dough, very, very soft, but I don't find it offensive. I think it complements the sweet flavor very well. But here's the problem. Uh, Lidl is, as we know, a budget supermarket. And I don't know if it's the quality of meat or what's going on, but pretty much every society bridge I get from them has the issue of having uh, gristle in the meat. You'll be enjoying it, you'll be chewing along, and then enjoying that retro flavor, and then all of a sudden, chick, you hit a little piece of... Your tooth just bounces off it, whether it's tendon, bone, I don't know. Just the thought, you know, I eat meat, but that, that, that thought is just unpleasant. You don't want that in a broja, you know? Um, and and the, really, that's just the sticking post with Lidl is nowadays you're paying almost the same, 89 cents instead of 99. 
does 10 cents make a difference in today's economy? Yes. Overall, it's almost the same. Um, but you feel like you're getting a much less premium product. And, and it's it's all about that gristle. If they could sort out this problem, I think we'd have a clear winner um, because of how much it stands out. But like this, yeah, taste, I'll give it a nine. I love the taste. I love what it's doing. The texture, I have to give a four because of that inconsistency with the gristle. And the price, I'll say seven. Because uh, in today's economy, 89 cents, really, it used to be 69. It's not, it's not the budget it used to be. So overall, the winner uh, of this comparison, definitely the Derek from the Brook Broja. I'd highly recommend it. Um, all that being said, my favorite Brojas are from Yumbo.